Hello folks, welcome back to the IBN Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new to the channel or you're not currently sub, please don't forget to do that right now before the rest of the video starts. Thank you very much. So I've come out today to do something that I've been meaning to film actually for a while, but it's about this time of year where it all kicks off. As a fly angler, you'll probably appreciate the idea of a bogey fly, something that you fish and it just never really seems to work for you. And today is all about fishing one of my absolute bogey flies, a fly that some people swear by, I just can't figure it out. And that's the daddy long legs or crane fly, depending on where you are in the world. It's a fly that's almost synonymous with autumn fly fishing in Northern Europe, particularly here in the UK, particularly on still waters where the still water guys really like them, both as dries kind of moved across the surface and targeting rising fish on the surface and as something with a gold bead that you can kind of pull along beneath the surface as well. But it's a fly that I personally in the past have had very little success with on rivers. And as a result, I just don't use it. I don't even carry one in my box at any point in the season. Inspired by a few local people recently though who have done well with them, I thought to myself, I need to go and sort this out. I need to tackle this. I need to not have bogey flies. I need to come out and have a go with the one fly that I never carry with me at any point in the season. And because of that, I've just been to our local fly shop and bought this little lot here. That is a box that is just daddy long legs. That's all I've got with me for this entire session. I'm gonna try and fish this over two rivers actually, both in the same day. I'm currently stood right next to the beautiful Derbyshire Wire. You can see that behind me. This fishery only has wild fish. And my big reservation with the daddy long legs has always been that most of the people I speak to who say they do well on them, are people who are fishing fisheries with a lot of stock is in. There are no stock fish in this little stretch of river behind me. So if it works here, that means the wild fish will eat them. You might be wondering, Andy, what's your problem with the daddy long legs? Why is it you don't use them? And to be honest, I'll break it down really simply. I've never seen a natural daddy long legs get taken off the water. I've seen lots of them land and skitter around. I've never seen one actually get eaten. And I'm a pretty simple bloke. I be will tell you that. If I don't see stuff get eaten, I don't believe that it works. And I just haven't seen these get eaten. I do believe other people catch fish on them, but for me, not seeing a natural get eaten is a real problem. They're an incredible fly, the daddy long legs. There's thousands of different species of them, about 12 or 1400 different species just in kind of Northern Europe and Russia alone. There are so many of them. They're a terrestrial insect. They kind of grow as a pupa in the ground, just in the topsoil, emerge out, they're terrible at flying, they fly into your kitchen, they fly around your lights, they're absolutely terrifying. And apparently fish eat them. It's news to me, but I'm going to give myself four or five hours fishing here over the course of two different rivers to see if I can finally break my daddy long legs duck. Right, first pool of the day. And in terms of fly selection, I looked at the overheads, I looked at the brightness of the sun, the barometric pressure, the wind speed and then decided just to put the biggest fly I've got on because I don't know what I'm doing. The reason I've selected this spot actually, there are trees in front of me, stuff could be falling off. I've got tall grasses behind me. I don't know, it just, it just it looks a pretty good spot. But I really am using this as an attractor really. I'm just trying to pull something up. This is gonna be a curiosity take. I'm obviously not seeing any daddy long legs on the water. I'm not anticipating seeing any daddy long legs on the water, but if I can get it underneath these trees, skate it around a bit with the men's and stuff like that, who knows what might come up? I don't, that's for sure. I've just seen a trout rise. That's interesting, okay. So there's a trout just risen right underneath this tree in front of me. That's close. Right, that gives me something to aim at at least. But obviously casting a daddy long legs is a bit like casting a mayfly. I might be a bit too long on the tippet section here. How about a touch further over there? A bit of a mend to start with. That's barely floating already. Okay, yeah, I've just seen a fish rise over there, kind of where I was aiming. Let's try that. No. A bit more line, yeah, it's just risen again. Pretty good, actually. Come on, eat that fly. No. Might have to shorten the tippet section down. So we've got a 12 foot leader on here that I cut 18 inches off at the thin end because that's just the level section. It's a 4x leader, which I've put about four feet of 5x tippet onto. It's kind of the same system I use for mayfly fishing. Perhaps not turning this over quite as well as I'd hoped. How about a bit of skate? Does that work? We're bumbling that along the surface here work. Right, let's pop some of these a little bit further upstream. Oh no, it was the tiniest little trout. <laughs> it was a tiny, tiny little rainbow, but it was a fish. That's nice. Yeah, that'll cover him. That'll cover him. Come on, eat that daddy long legs. Nope. 
That's good again. Oh, a fish turned at it. Okay. Maybe it's just time for the first fly change here. I might just try a different pattern. Okay, so I've gone for the orange bodied daddy. Nice imitative pattern for all the neon orange daddy long legs that are coming down the Derbyshire wire at the moment. Actually, this is the one that in the, in the fly shop that I got the flies from. The guys are like, that was the one that they suggested was the orange body. So this will be interesting. Maybe those little rainbows might get a bit aggressive on it, a bit of colour. It's landed nicely. Here it comes. Oh no. What went wrong there? I couldn't see, couldn't see the fly when I struck, so he must have had it all. It's bright orange, means it's not hard to see. Right, that might be, that might be me done here. That one took it under the water. I'm not sure if this counts or not. So the fly had actually just sunk. It landed pretty heavily and sunk, but it is a trout. It is on a daddy long legs. So, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> come on, bud. Righty, that is probably the first fish I've caught on a daddy long legs in about 15 years. But that is a rainbow trout, a wild rainbow trout on a daddy long legs. Job done, I can go home now. Okay, so I've literally just come 20 yards upstream. Just have a look at this far bank in the shade. There's also a little feed line coming down the inside and I can get a better drift underneath where I was just trying to cast. I'm going to keep the orange foam body daddy on for one more fish. I'm just going to let myself have one more fish on it because it'll bother me if I've just used this and we keep getting takes on it. Are they taking a daddy long legs or are they just taking an orange foam stick and trying to figure out what it is? So one more fish on these and then it's being retired. How about that? It's a better drift. That's the best drift I've got through there yet. Go oh, fish. Oh, on the downstream. Jeez, he came from nowhere. Takes galore on the orange daddy long legs. Where have you been all my life? Bit of a mend downstream. I don't think that fish will rise again. I think he's probably toast. But there's nothing to say there isn't another one there. So I move around the corner, I found some more fish in a pool that I know was being very, very difficult. In truth, I try not to have too much to do with this pool because it is hard, but now I've got the power of the orange daddy long legs. I don't know, I mean. Maybe I could catch them all. See two or three plus other fish rising further upstream. So ah, we'll give it a go for two minutes. If it works here, it'll work anywhere. Amazingly, the second that rod went up, I've now lost sight of all of the fish that I could see in front of me. Yeah, they're not daft. Okay, there's one of them. He's just moved up a touch. That's nice. That'll cover him. Oh, 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 we had a look at it. It was brief interest, but it was pretty brief to be honest. <laughs> he swung across and then swung away again pretty quick. I think he heard it land. Oh, fish, wow. What a take that was, he smashed it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Maybe the orange daddy long legs is the one. That's incredible. Yeah, another rainbow. I have a feeling most of the fish I'll find feeding in this bright light will be those rainbows. The browns tend to not like it when it's very, very bright on here. Ooh, oh, 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 it's taking a bit of line. Jeez, they pull so hard. These wild rainbows are so strong. They're so much stronger than the browns. Maybe a half pound fish at the most, but it really is pulling. Yeah, there we go. Another one on the orange daddy. All right, so I've been and got my own hooking max. I've got to pull this fish out of the water. Oh, foam daddy fell out. That's good news. Gorgeous wild rainbow. They love that orange daddy. Thank goodness for that. It does work. It is just me. Back you go. Righty, so I imagine it probably looks on screen like it's four hours later, but I promise I have just walked around a corner slightly into a shaded spot. Let's just snap that branch off there so you guys can see. I'm going to try and find some shade. It's pretty quiet out there. And in front of me, I have got a few fish rising. I still haven't seen a natural daddy long legs anywhere on the water, but they've shown a pretty serious interest in this imitation. Has he got it? Oh, straight away. That fish, that fish didn't eat it. He came up, he swirled around it. He had a look at it, but he didn't eat. Feels like a good area here in the shade. 
There's lots of grasses and trees and it's out of the way. It's a great bubble line kind of coming around the corner. So I think rather than labour too much on that one area, I'm going to try and cover as many fish with this as possible. See if I can find one that's willing to commit. That was pretty good. Nice clean drift. It'll start to drag about now, but the rest of the drift was good. I'm actually quite tempted to put that orange body back on just for a second and see if that's making a difference. Okay, so I've just done exactly that. I've put the orange body on. Let's just see if this makes any difference. I know that's covering fish. I've been watching them rise. I know there's fish there. Okay, couple around the corner just in case I'm missing something. Fish, there we go. <laughs> right, so that further makes me wonder if this is daddy long legs or if this is just bright orange piece of foam that's catching these fish. Come on, bud. Another one of those little rainbows. Looks out, benefits of debarbing. You tell me, buddy, are you eating daddy long legs or are you eating orange foam? Whatever it is. <laughs> Trying to get it back here. <laughs> Come on, bud. There we go. Right, so that, that concerns me a little bit because I had a suspicion they were eating the colour rather than the food and that hasn't really helped disprove that. Well, it is remarkably quiet. I don't think that's any surprise given the conditions. It is so hot. Even here in the shade, it's still bloody warm, but there's very little in the way of fish activity at all. So it's going to be a case of just hitting good looking spots with this daddy and hoping to draw a fish out of nowhere using the heavy landing and the big silhouette of that daddy to try and pull a take. How about alongside that willow over there? That's nice. Fish. Oh no! That's decent fish as well. Oh, Andy. He took it the second it landed. Oh, it was a good fish. That was a nice brown. Ah, it was such a good cast as well. <laughs> Gosh dang it. We'll drop it over there again. I think you can fall for that one twice. That could have been job done there. That looked a good fish as well. Looked like a nice one. Still, might give me some idea at least of where I need to be looking for these fish. Oh, it's a tempt of that is. It's just a, there's a 12 inch gap in between some branches where a fish is sat. Just hoping, I don't think I can get it close to him. Just hoping that the sound of this thing landing might be enough. Oh, that's good. We read that? Oh my goodness, I don't, I can't make a better cast than that. I'm probably not gonna get that fly back either. Yeah, I think that's toast. It was a brilliant cast. Would have covered that fish perfectly, but he didn't eat it. Yeah, that's a fly gone. Let's move on. Last bit, last throw of the dice. Losing that light super quickly. Hopefully there's one in here for me. Just the neck of this pool looks nice here. I did hear a hell of a rise somewhere up here, but I didn't see it. Okay, I've just seen a rise there. Yeah, that'd be about right. Let's try in the neck of this pool. I will say, for big bushy dry flies, these are the least buoyant flies. Oh, that was a take you could possibly imagine. I've got size 26F flies that stay on the surface longer than these things do. Where am I going to find one here? Where's the, where's the big fish in this? Maybe in that slack over there. Nope, I need to get my skate song, so I'm gonna run out of light soon. So I've made that change to a different river and three fish out of the Y in probably about 90 minutes of time on the water. I'm actually pretty happy with that. It was more than I was expecting. I really don't trust Daddy Long Legs at all. So if we've got three in the net, I'm thrilled with, I'm gonna, I'm ruin missing that one. I really wish I hadn't missed that one up against the tree for two reasons. First off, because it was much bigger than the other fish. I could see it quite clearly. It was probably a 16, 17, maybe 18 inch fish and it took it beautifully. I don't understand what went wrong. I thought I'd got it all right and the hook just pulled straight through. The other reason why I wish I hadn't missed that fish is because it was the only one that I drew a take from that wasn't on the orange bodied daddy. And I'll be honest, that orange bodied daddy was probably the worst thing to happen to me in this whole thing because I'm still not fully convinced that they're not taking the orange color 
rather than the fact that it's a daddy long legs. I'm, I just don't trust it. <laughs> so I've changed river to try this in a slightly different fishing scenario. I'm here on the Dove, a place where we can wade and get close to the fish. There's a mixture of wild and stock fish, whereas the wise all wild fish. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how differently they react to this daddy long legs in a different kind of fishing scenario. The more observant amongst you will notice that it's actually a different day. I didn't leave myself anywhere near enough time to come and fish the Dove that evening. I got about halfway on the drive and realized it was already pitch black. My timekeeping wasn't great, so I'm here a couple of days later. It's it's just about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there's heavy rain and thunderstorms forecast for about two, so I haven't got long to do this. I'm really hoping that the daddy long legs thing happens early in the day as well as later in the evening. I haven't seen any naturals yet, but I have seen a few rising fish. So we're gonna jump in, same rig, same outfit, and see if we can find some slightly different fish on a slightly different river on those same four or five fly patterns. Let's see what happens. First cover of the morning. This'll be an interesting one. So there's a fish rising underneath it not that one there's also one risen down there as well crikey this is starting to kick off there's a fish rising underneath the branches just here i'm pretty sure it's a sycamore tree just where those leaves are going through now rises infrequently pretty early in the day still i'm not expecting there to be loads of bugs on the water it rises quite infrequently i'm almost certain it's a trout these ones here i think they're grayling i'm pretty sure they're grayling and as such probably won't eat the daddy i've kept that arrow daddy on it's the one I like the look of as much as anything. I'm not convinced that it's going to be as effective as the other one, the orange body. Because fish rising everywhere. They're mostly very small, but there are fish absolutely everywhere around me. Just wonder if I'm going a bit far across here. I'd have thought I'd have seen him move to it at least. Let's try that. Not quite so far across. Oh, yeah. He had a good look at that. <laughs> okay. Right. I know where he is now. Why didn't you eat that? Good solid refusal, that there he is. He's just supping something down. I know, I know that what I've got on isn't what he's eating. There's a fish just risen right opposite me here in this gap in the trees. It's not far enough across. Oh, here he comes, here he comes right underneath it. Got him, yeah, <laughs> he did eat it. Fantastic. Just a little snap cast there at a fish that Bonus, I hadn't seen anything rise there up until now. It's a big rainbow, big stocky rainbow. He supped it down, no problem at all. Winding like fury to try and get him on the reel. Obviously someone chooses now to try and call me. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever you are, there is no way I'm answering that phone right now. Really interesting. You, you kind of think they're going to smash it and he didn't. He just kind of sipped it in. Very delicate take. That's a pretty fish really bright rainbow obviously these rainbows in the dove are stock they're not like those not like those wide fish they're not wild so because i'm using a big fly i'm fishing heavier than normal i've got 5x on just over five pound tip it so i can pull back a little bit plenty of power in these 10 foot four weights are you coming yeah that's a gorgeous fish it's a real pretty one never ceases to amaze me how delicate decent sized fish can be i mean that little sip did not look like it was going to be one of those but it was a little bit lean, a little bit skinny. Could do with a bit more food. Great colours. Home time for you, buddy. There you go. Whoosh, off he goes. The daddy muncher. Well, in my books, fish in the first five minutes is always a welcome fish. So I'm happy with that. I've taken the opportunity to change the fly. I've taken the aero daddy off and I've put that really big one back on. I really want to catch a fish on that thing. It's just, it's a freaking giant. It's like a tarantula. It would be fun to catch a fish on it. The fish underneath this tree is still rising. It rises very delicately and just sips stuff down. It's definitely not, <laughs> it's definitely not on daddy long legs. But who knows? Maybe we'll pull him up to a slightly different fly. If not, there are a couple of trout starting to rise in the bubble line just above me. I get the feeling if I'd have just bought a normal box of flies, I could have absolutely cleaned up today. But we might not learn as much. That's pretty good. Will you eat that? No. <laughs> they just don't want this thing. It could be they're really fixated on something. I must admit, I don't know what it is. I was just wonder if there's some last night's spinner still coming down the river. It's interesting that the one fish that has eaten it is the one that's tucked furthest under cover. The one least likely to be in a, in a feed line properly munching a particular bug. I did say while I was on the wire, I need to be looking for areas of overhanging grasses, overhanging trees and stuff like that. Maybe the middle of a bubble line isn't the place to be throwing a daddy long legs. 
fish everywhere. I honestly don't know where to look at the moment. There are fish rising absolutely everywhere. That one further up the bubble line's just gone again. He rises with a slightly more splashy, kind of energetic rise than the others. Maybe he might be a bit more, a bit more down for daddy. Right, so given that the nature of this whole thing is just an experiment to get me convinced back on the daddy long legs, I've put the orange body back on just to see how they react to it. So it definitely provoked a different response on the Y to the other flies. Let's try the one further upstream, bit of breeze all of a sudden. Let's try him. Oh, dang it. Okay, he did eat the orange body. <laughs> quite a long line out there. I think it was only quite a small fish. Interesting though, because I covered that area with the bigger daddy long legs and didn't have a touch. So once again, once again, that orange body daddy has just made something happen there. It's a bit of a change of spot. I was thinking about places where I've got overhanging trees and undercuts and stuff like that. And this little area here should be about right. And just as I've climbed in here, it started raining. That rain wasn't forecast for another two hours, uh, but the forecast said that when it came, it was gonna be pretty bad. It's still warm, but that rain is a real pain. It's the last thing we need. I have no idea what happens to daddy long legs when it rains. <laughs> Answer, answers in the comments section. I've actually put on the foam daddy that rose that fish yesterday that I missed, that I'm still beating myself up about nearly 48 hours later. It looks, it looks a really nice natural pattern. It lands with a little bit of a splat. I'm just gonna fish this deep scowl up against the far bank here. As I say, I might have seen a fish rise just through here. That's a bit short of him. Do you know what, actually, since this rain started, everything just seems to have gone a little bit quiet. Very little activity here. Just feels like that weather is changing and nature has reacted. These fish have totally, totally switched off. Uh, it's getting pretty heavy now. That might be time for me to go and take shelter. Ooh. So that rain there took about 20 minutes to pass over. It got quite heavy in the end. Uh, but it has for the time being drifted over. Uh, it's left me with absolutely nothing to aim at. It's just t totally cleared out all the rising fish the second it started. So I guess this is going to have to be the ultimate test of the daddy long legs is will it pull a fish up when seemingly nothing is rising. I've got a good area to experiment with just underneath this tree line and up against the far side. It's a nice deep scour over there. I expect there's going to be a few fish over there. So the two questions are, will eat the daddy and kind of get it close enough to them. Oh, it's just been a rise downstream off me. That could have been a trout. That's a good cast to start with. So that's basically what I need to do right the way up this pool. So I'm going to keep working this edge up. The fish I saw rise where it's just downstream of the next tree upstream of me. I'm quite keen on getting a fly over there fairly soon. Let's have a go at that target fish. That's a pretty good cast. Got him. Yes. Oh, he's off. Ah, that's a good fish as well. Don't swear, Andy. Don't swear, Andy. Don't swear, Andy. Fish. Dang it. So I've got a pool in front of me that is absolutely covered in rising fish. There are fish everywhere in front of me. But they are really, really delicately sipping something down. So there must be some tiny little spinners or possibly midges on the water. I haven't seen anything looking remotely like a daddy long legs come anywhere near this pool. So this will be a really interesting test of the daddy long legs. If you know, these fish are really focused on a food item and this drifts over them, will they take it? I will say as a fly angler, this is my worst nightmare. Knowing, knowing what they're feeding on and casting something else. This, uh, yeah, this is uncomfortable. So we've got some fish rising at the back of this bush. That covers them nicely. Give a little wiggle at the end, bit of animation just in case. I've been doing that for two days straight now and <laughs> not once has it worked. I'm looking for fish alongside this tree in front of me. And there's also a few fish rising up around this feed line here. Just clouded over again. I wonder if we're about to get some more rain actually. It feels very similar to how it did before we had that shower earlier. Pop that up there. Oh, there's a rise. Okay, got one clocked. Actually, that's going to be pretty close to him. 
Oh, yeah, have we got him? Yes. <laughs> I thought that might end up pretty close to him. Again, just a sip. Get him on the reel. Keep plenty of tension on. Just a little sip in that feed line. Got really lucky here that he gave himself away. Basically hadn't seen anything for the last few minutes. Ooh, it's a brownie and another fish followed it in. There's another fish around it. I wonder if that means these are stockies. We'll see. We'll see. We had three wildies yesterday, so I'm not unconvinced about the idea that wild fish do eat them. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Yes. There we go. That's one in the net. Just kind of burgled one there. Well, it's definitely a stocky, there's no doubt about that, but fairly welcome fish. One on the daddy. Again, lovely little sip. Off he goes. Okay, so I have had a little bit of a move down to a slow sheltered area. And I found a fish rising on the far bank in this back of the opposite and thought, oh yeah, I'll definitely target him. In the time it took me to get the other stuff set up, there's a fish risen a couple of times straight down the middle of this bubble line literally like two or three rod lengths away he's just sipping something down ever so gently oh he made a beeline <laughs> he made a beeline straight for it actually bow wave towards the fly uh, he's not going to eat this don't think he's going to eat this so it feels like a long time since i rose a fish now given the amount i've been covering this has been really frustrating and I'm definitely running out of time because that weather is starting to whip up. Got a couple of rising fish in front of me. I also saw a fish absolutely whack something here earlier. So I just want to have a bit of a bit of a bounce around with this daddy long legs in this area. I don't think I've got long here, another 20 minutes and that could well be it for the day. That rain is definitely coming. That rain is just starting to get a bit of a problem now. I've got minutes left in this session. But there is a fish in front of me that's willing to take. As I say, it threw itself right out the river to eat a bug. Get that fly dry. Let's get a couple of casts over there before this rain starts. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh no. Ah. Let's try that again. That's a bit further across than I wanted it to go. Oh, it's officially a bit further over as well, so there are two fish in front of me. You know what? I'm going to take a gamble here and take a shot at the fish on the far side because once this rain starts, it might not stop. Come on, fish. You've got to play the game pretty quick. Yeah, got him. Got him. Yes, last minute fish, I can't believe it. Just a little rise underneath the far bank. I'll be honest, I barely even saw him eat it. It just, it just disappeared. The fly just vanished. Let's get him on the reel. There we go. Right at the very end of the session, on the foam daddy, on the natural foam daddy, not the orange one either. Come in for me, please. Can I get him in the net? Yes! In the rain, in Derbyshire, catching him on the daddy long legs. Come on! Absolutely gorgeous. I'll be honest guys, what's made me most happy about this is the fact that it's a wildie. It's not a stocky. That's a wild Derbyshire brown on my least favourite dry fly. Off he goes downstream. Going to go and sulk in that corner. Look at that. Well, that came down pretty sharpish in the end. And while it has stopped now, it's brightened up slightly. Those black clouds are everywhere. And I think the weather forecast is probably about right. I think that's going to be it for the day. Three fish on each day. I'll take that on flies that I have no confidence in. And I will say I have no confidence in those daddy long legs. I guess the big question here is, do I now trust daddy long legs? to be something that I keep in the box full time. And I'll be honest, the answer to that is probably no. With a bit of a caveat to that, that orange bodied daddy 
that one just there on the Y yesterday was an absolute revelation. <laughs> that really was. Uh, the Y is low and clear and it was, you know, 26, 27, 28 degrees. It was boiling hot. It was bright. They are horrible conditions to fish that river. The very worst conditions for fish in the Y. And that little guy there actually pulled fish up. I guess the big question is, would they have gone up to a larger caddis or a big olive or something like that? A beetle? The answer is I don't know. I never will know. I know for certain that they took that orange bodied daddy on the white with absolutely no problems at all. So that one may well just find a little space in a dark corner of the box out of the way. In terms of the other flies, the only one I haven't caught on is big mega gargantuan giant daddy, which <laughs> it's, it's massive. Who knows, it might have worked on a different day. I didn't actually fish it much today at all. The other flies actually have all pulled fish, so I'm pretty happy with that. Do I think that any of the fish that I caught, I caught because I was using a daddy long legs? The answer to that is no. <laughs> I really don't. I think they'd have probably taken most flies if they were presented well. I don't think it was anything to do with the fact that these guys were th what they wanted. I've never seen a fish selectively feeding on daddies. I'd be amazed if I ever will. Guys, let me know what you think. Let me know. Actually, let me know if you've got a bogey fly. Let me know if this is something that you've been through with another pattern. And maybe in the future, I'll have a look at seeing if I can fish with some of your bogey flies. See if I can make those work. Because actually, going out and having nothing but daddy long legs for a couple of, couple of hours, I fish about four hours in total. It's just made me try something different. Try something that I don't usually do. And I think as an angler, that's really healthy to take yourself out of your comfort zone and do something new. Guys, thank you very much for watching this vlog. Really appreciate it. You can probably hear that rain started again now. So I'm going to make tracks and get back home, get warm, have a shower and start editing this bad boy. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. I, B and I will see you probably without the daddy long legs. Very soon, some more fishing and stuff. Take care, folks. Bye bye. Hashtag buy the merch.